Hello fellow duelists, this is Shadow of the Moon, and this is a deck profile that I have wanted to showcase on this channel for a long, long time. Uh, I had this deck, it's been completed for a few months now, but I finally am just getting the around to finally up uploading the deck. Uh, as you can see, it is a Stardust Synchron deck. So, first off, before we get started on this deck profile, there's a couple things I want to mention. Number one, this deck profile is, it's up to date, but it obviously can still be a little better. This is more of a fun build, more of a more of a budget build, because Synchron decks tend to be very expensive. You have multiple Revolution Synchrons, you have Dispater, you have Baron, obviously. You have um, a lot of cards like uh, Excel Stardust Synchron. You have like a lot of the cards that are that can be very expensive, Crimson, Crimson Dragon. So this is more of a fun build which is just more of a casual build if you love stardust and you love the the synchron archetype this is a deck deck that you can definitely get into and so please don't bash me too much for this i did the best that i could because this is actually kind of a joint deck profile with me and my wife this is our deck that we use together uh she likes using it and then i like using it so without any further ado let's go ahead and get straight on into the deck profile so first off You've got two copies of your Stardust Synchron. Stardust Synchron is a great tuner because if this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can tribute a monster, special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You're also able not to be able to special summon except extra deck except uh, Synchro Monsters, which is this pure deck. It's a pure Synchro deck. And then if this card is normal special summoned, you can add a spell or trap from your deck to your hand. Uh, that mentions Stardust Dragon, which is basically Stardust Illumination from your deck to your hand, and you can only activate it once per turn. So it's a great way to be able to get the card back from the graveyard and be able to go into your plays because you do a lot of Synchro Summoning in this deck. And then this is for fun. This is actually a cool, really tech card I love using in here. Three Junk Synchrons. Junk Synchrons is the original Synchron. Um, and so if you normal summon this card, if you have a... Uh, level two or lower monster in your graveyard, you can special summon it to the field. So it's good to be able to add back your synchro monsters, and I, you do get to use it. And I'll, I do get to use it in a lot of plays. And then one revolution synchron because this card can be a little bit expensive. Revolution synchron is great because if this is treated as power tool monster or a level seven or eight dragon monster, obviously if you're going into power tool dragon, but you're going to be using its second effect. So. If you control a level 7 or higher of Synchro Monster, when this card is in your graveyard, you can send the top card of your deck to the graveyard too, especially some of this card from in this, especially some of this card, and its level becomes 1. So it's a great way to go into a level 1 play. You have a level 7, this becomes a level 8, and you can go into like Blackwing Dragon, you can go into Drake Berserker, you can go into Stardust Dragon, you can go into anything that you want with this deck. So, and then. Triple copies of Assault Synchron. You pay 700 life points and you can special summon this card from your hand. And obviously, if a dragon type monster gets tributed or gets tributed or uh, banished, you can special summon the card, obviously, using its effect. This is a great tech card because it is a level two. So you do synchro quite a bit in this deck. So, I mean, level two is very important. Uh, level ones are very important. I mean, this whole deck has so much going for it. And then we've got. Two Jet Synchrons. Jet Synchron, you can max it out if you want. I only thought two was appropriate. Uh, Jet Synchron, if this card is sent to the graveyard as a Synchro material, you can add a Junk Monster from your deck to your hand. And also, if this card is in your graveyard, you can send a card from your hand to the graveyard to special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. So it's a great way to be able to special summon it once again from the graveyard, because that mainly is going to be where all your plays are going. And then probably one of the best cards in this deck, Will Synchron. I wish he was hollow, because he definitely deserves to be... Although, this card acts as a non-tuner. It's a tuner card, but if you have another card on the field, this card acts as a non-tuner. So, it's a level 5, and you can do so much with it. And it also has a great, great ability that um, after the extra dollars, you can normal summon a level 4 lower monster once you um, make it a synchro material. So, I mean, it's just such a good card. And then for the non-synchros or non-tuners, we've got Stardust Trail. This card you want in the graveyard more than anything because if you, if it leaves the field, if a Warrior Synchro or Stardust Synchro Monster is Synchro Summoned using the, this card as a material, you can special summon a Stardust token and use those tokens to be able to Synchro Climb. And then Triple, this is kind of like your budget option, Junk Warrior. This is your budget option um, because if you have no cards, you can special summon this card from your hand. It's kind of like different from in the Infernoble card. So if you can't afford the Infernoble level one guy, go for this because it is a level three. So if you control no uh, you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. It's a level three and it's a Junk card. All right, and then we've got Triple Junk Converter. Junk Converter is a great tech card as well. 
because Junk Converter, let me move this up here for you. Junk Converter, you can discard this card and, and one tuner, add a Synchron monster from your deck to your hand. And if this card is in your graveyard as Synchro material, you can target a tuner in your graveyard and special summon it in defense position, but it cannot activate its effects. It's another way to be able to get more tuners back from the graveyards. It's very, very important. And then Triple Doppel Warrior, because Doppel Warrior can create those Doppel tokens. Very good card in this deck because you're going to be doing a lot of Synchro summoning. All right, and then we've got the last two. So we got Synchron Carrier. Synchron Carrier is a good little tech card because during your main phase, you can normal summon one Synchro Monster in addition to your normal summoner set, and you can only gain the effect once per turn. If another Synchron Monster is set in your grid as material for the Synchro Summon of a Warrior or Machine Synchro Monster, you can control the card. You can special summon one Synchron Token, and it adds another token to the field to be able to help you. And then lastly, just for fun, um, I actually like using the Majestic Dragon because... This card cannot be used as Synchro Material except for the Synchro Summon of a Majestic Monster. And it's just a level 1, so I like being able to use it because you can use it to go into the big boy, which is um, Shooting Majestic Star Dragon. And I always thought that was pretty cool. So that's going to be it for the monsters. Let's move on to the spells and traps. So Synchro Overtake is going to be your first lineup in this deck profile. So Synchro Overtake. Reveal a Synchro Monster in your extra deck. Choose one of the Synchro Materials mentioned on it and add it to your hand. Or special summon that monster from your deck or graveyard. And you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. The turn you activate this card except Synchro Monsters. And once again, you do not have to worry about that. A lot of people use combos with that to be able to kind of... um just reveal a, a synchro monster and then being able to special summon it and stuff special summon a synchro monster but i'm using it to its other effect and then we've got the great on your mark get set duel which is famous for the five d's so it's a continuous spell and when this card is activated and you control no other cards you can add a synchron monster from your deck to your hand and once per turn during your standbys you can place a signal counter on this card you can remove two signal counters and send this face up to draw two cards so it's really good to be able to draw that card but mainly you're going to be using it to add cards from your deck to your hand that's what this deck is all about and speaking of adding cards from your deck to your hand you're going to have three tuners tunings i mean tuners just let you add a synchron monster tuner monster from your deck to your hand so tuning is very important in this deck and then triple small world in case you need to grab something uh, from your deck. It's, it has many bridges in this deck uh, that you can use many of the monsters, so Small World is very imperative in here to be able to use. And then we have one Stardust Illumination, because you only need the one Stardust. Send a Stardust monster from your deck to the graveyard, and if you control a Stardust Dragon or a Synchro monster, a Stardust Dragon in its text, you can Special Summon it instead. So that's the main important, but you want its secondary effect, which is then uh, banish this card from your graveyard, then target a Stardust monster you control, increase its decreases level by one. So, mainly you're going to be using that to increase or decrease Stardust uh, Synchron's effect, or Stardust Synchron's level. And then Rhoda, so you need one reinforcement of the army to be able to add the warrior types from your deck to your hand, because we do play warriors in the deck. And then one Foolish Burial to put a card from your deck to the graveyard. And then lastly, for your hand traps, you need Call by the Grave. So I know this deck does not have really any hand traps. This is just meant to be fun. I do know it's a thing, so please do not take it as something that's competitive. It is just meant to have, be fun. So, all right, that, that's going to be it for the main deck. Let's move on to the stacked extra deck, sir. This has a lot of synchron. So obviously the big boy shooting start, Majestic Stardust Dragon. You've got this guy in here. You've got your Stardust Warrior, which is just for fun. I love being able to have it because I told me, you know, me and my wife, I was like, look, if we can have the deck, at least have Stardust and have Majestic. And we were able to actually pull it off. You've got one Excel Synchron because he works very well as a tuner because you can increase and decrease its level. Junk Warrior, the original the original OG to, uh, synchro monster so he actually works really well on this deck because he's a level five so you can easily synchro climb with him satellite warrior which is a great card you've got obviously the stardust and excel stardust dragon so excel stardust dragon allows you to add a tuner monster from your graveyard and special summon it and then obviously the stardust dragon i love this artwork a little bit better that's why i kept it in here okay and then we've got the other cards, we've got our Stardust Assault Warrior. So this is a good little tech card in here. It's a level uh, it's a level six. You've got Junk Speeder, which Junk Speeder is the MVP of this deck. So let me tell you, ex explain what Junk Speeder does. Junk Speeder, when this card is Synchro Summon, you can special summon up to five different Synchron monsters from your deck. So easily you can get Assault, Revolution, uh, you can get Junk Warrior if you wanted to. You could get 
anything that's Stardust Synchron, you can get anything, and he works really well. This card single-handedly lets you Synchro Climb like crazy because of that. Um, This is what can help you go into multiple negates and also multiple monsters on the field. All right, so then we're going to be moving on to the non-Synchro monsters. These are the non-Synchron or Stardust monsters. So first off, you've got your Red Hot Dragon Archfiend Abyss. It's a good tech card to be able to negate. You've got your Baron to Floor. Also, another way, you've got another negate. You've got your Draco Berserker of the Tenyi. So you've got another negate, obviously. You've got your Blackwing Dragon, which I will be... I have to relearn it again, but I will be showing you a combo to go to be able to use Blackwing Dragon and be able to Synchro Climb. And then you've got your Herald of Arc Light, which is a great negate. And then you've also got your Celestial Double Star Shaman. So... All right, so that's going to be it for this deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. This deck is just absolutely amazing. I love being able to play with the deck. I love using it, and it's just a lot of fun to be able to actually use a Stardust deck. Once again, this is more of a budget version of it because Stardust decks are very expensive. Um, They can be. They can get pricey, obviously, but those are the budget options. Like, if you want to have Junk junk War... Or not Junk War. If you want to have, like, you'll... You, uh, junk synchron in there if you wanted to have um uh junk forward if you wanted to have other cards in there instead this is a great way to do that uh, and this deck can actually be very competitive um because you can at least get three negates on the field omni negates on the field and kind of can slow your opponent down so yeah all right that's going to be it for this deck profile i hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for everybody that watches my content you rock thank you very much from the bottom of my heart I want to try to start doing more deck profiles, um, start that up again on the ones that I do, because I do have other decks, um, I mainly use my Blackwing deck, but, um, I love being able to use the other ones, and unfortunately my Blackwing deck, as of right now, the King, the King Kaliuga build hasn't really been updated, because you really can't change anything on there except for SP Little Knight, which, you know, isn't really worth it. Because you can't afford her anyway. She's like 130 like 130 to $160 right now, which is just ridiculous. But, um, and my Pure Synchro build, which is just like the Blackwing Burn deck, uh, hasn't really been updated. But I will eventually start working on that. So, alright, so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching that, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.